we can do this. We've made it to the gym. Haven't been to the gym all week because we were away last week and ugh. yeah, just been struggling to get up. But we're using them with an upper body day. Let's do it. <laughs> I've had both when I've been traveling to several countries. I'm home, I've parked up, I just dropped off Will at the station so you can go to work and yeah, it's nice and early, it's 8am. Guys, good thing that I haven't really been gymming this week because I didn't realize this girl, she doesn't read her emails and my gym's going through like a refurb right now. So it was okay to be fair, like they had some machines out and stuff, but yeah, just not the best setup. I mean, if I was going to take a week off the gym, this was obviously the week to do it. But yeah, we managed to get some sort of upper body workout in. I'm feeling good. I feel so much better. I felt so just like uncomfortable and bloated. I've been on my period as well. Like sometimes when I'm on my period, I can work out completely normally. It doesn't affect me. It's fine. But this week has definitely been a like, no, I'm tired. I'm not in the mood. Everything's heavier and harder. But we did it. Mm -hmm. Do you wanna go walkies? Yeah? Oh my goodness. Are you so handsome? Oh yes. Oh yon. This is truly a section of my morning that takes up a lot of time and I never show it. This doggy. I don't know if anyone else's dog is like this, but whenever it's feeding time for Mochi, it also has to be play time. Like I have to chuck his ball around. Otherwise, I don't know, he won't eat his food. It's almost like he needs to earn his food. Not very, huh? Mm. Also, random little recommendation of the week, but my friend, this is from her partner's company. I'll pop the name on the screen and I'll link this below because I have been very impressed by this. It's like a little automatic feeder, but you can also put like treats in here because we obviously give mochi wet food, but sometimes it's nice to have kibble in here. Do you want a treat? <laughs> oh, look how cool. Basically connects to this app. You can get it to feed your doggy. And it also has a voice recorder. Like that? If you like that up, the times and stuff you want it to automatically feed. It's super handy if you have like a cat and you're out at work all day. <laughs> the number one thing that helps me feel ah! you are meant to let these sit for like two minutes. But yeah, the number one thing that helps me feel awake, energized, boosted is a quick ice roll of the face. Guys, I've had the least productive week. The least productive week. I wanted to be honest about that because I know a lot of us content creators like to make everything look all perfect and like we're all very motivated all the time and that does not summarize the week I've had at all. This is now the end of the week and this was my first time exercising this week, getting up before 8 a.m. This morning I woke up before my alarm, like just randomly a few minutes before and I think it's because the light was coming through and now that it's lighter earlier and later which is amazing it means i keep like missing the sunrise and so i opened my eyes this morning it was like 10 minutes to six or whatever and i opened my eyes to the most beautiful sunrise it made me happy i realized i've like not been up for the sunrise in ages and it helped me get my butt out but yeah today we're going to spend a productive mainly working from home kind of day i just have a lot of different tasks to work on. So yeah, I want this to be like a realistic work from home kind of productive day with me. And also filming it keeps some accountability. And I swear it helps me be more productive and get more done. So yeah, it's now half eight. I've taken mochi out. I'm just gonna pop in the shower, get all that done and quickly make some breakfast. This is like my perfect, realistic, quick morning routine before a work from home kind of day. So let's get in the shower. <laughs> been so well behaved this year. We've had like barely any breakouts. 
I'm applying this um, vitamin C serum, by the way, if I'm just gonna me. I mean, I still have these acne scars, which are still like quite deep and obviously visible, but they are a lot better. I just have a way better relationship with my skin this year. I'm like very appreciative of it behaving. Honestly, the acne scars are not that bad. My biggest advice to anyone is just keep your skincare simple. <laughs> egg mayo pillow with some raspberries on the side. This has been my current obsession. Mm. We've got our comfies on, beverages, AG1, my cup of tea. <laughs> I think there's something dodgy happening with our Nespresso machine because the coffee coming out of that been kind of nasty recently I don't know so cup of tea for me this morning I won't lie these are my favorite kind of like work from home days where I just have a bunch of computer stuff to get through I can sit down in my comfies and really crack on I also know what I need to be focusing on today but nonetheless I'm still gonna jot out just like a to-do list really basic one on notion Okay, I've just been working away. Whenever I turn on the camera, that's when what she wants to go out. I just check you out, baby. I've basically got like the first chunk of my day done, which is kind of more like hard focused stuff. One meeting, I don't do meetings often. I think it'd be fun to make some TikToks about like really going a bit more deeper into what a day in the life as a YouTuber looks like. Because each day is kind of different, such a weird job, kind of all, but I think that would be better in like short form format. I've been so confused about what to make when it comes to short form content. And I've been confused about it for like the past two years. I just haven't like worked that one out or got into a routine of it. I'm also in a weird place. And I feel like this happens every spring for me. Once like the new year motivation, that whole time has kind of gone down and people are now more in the mood for summer and like all of that. I never really know what to make this time of year, which I don't like, I, I kind of was debating whether or not to talk about it. But yeah, I just get scared of my content being boring, just struggling to come up with like actual creative ideas. I feel like, and it sounds really harsh, but it is just an observation of mine. A lot of us, especially in the space, are making the same kind of videos over and over. And it's there's certain videos you know that perform better for the algorithm or whatever. But it when this is your job, it kind of scares me a little to break out of that box and try something new at the risk of getting less views or losing subscribers, losing some of you guys. Yeah, there's gonna be some big changes happening this year, working hard to make sure of it. And I'm just, anticipating like how that's gonna change for my youtube channel i don't know i'm just thinking out loud i still have to pinch myself that i have a community in the first place and i don't mean to take away from that because you guys are amazing you guys are why i'm here you guys are why i get to do this as a job i think i'm just trying to apologize if contents felt a little flat recently or like i just i hate that feeling of not being proud of what I'm putting out. I really like put this pressure on myself to make sure every video has a message or a meaning and that's why I don't love like vlogging day to day because I'm like, well, I'm literally just showing you going about my day. But I get a lot of feedback from you guys saying you like it. I don't know, I'm in a bit of a limbo. <laughs> I just wanna make good stuff for you guys. Anyway, I'm just gonna finish off a couple more tasks. The most exciting task of the day. The financial year has finished. So I have a few taxi jobs to do. Ooh. I got changed just because I have 
acting class this evening actually i feel like i don't really talk about it i don't know what to say about it but i feel like some of you know my my hair just sort of blends into this top i've been starting up acting classes this year and it's been really fun i did some last year in london there was a school that i went to which i just for me really honest i didn't love it but it wasn't like it put me off wanting to do more acting classes and that was my first time like getting back into acting classes as an adult i did a lot of it when i was a teenager when i was a kid i don't know i think i am i'm in a place where like i don't really know what i want from it yet and that's why it scares me to talk about it it scares me to like talk about plans i've always been like oh you shouldn't share your plans just like show people obviously having a lifestyle channel it's like i want to take you guys along on vlogs and like what i get up to in the week and this has been something i have been doing recently like every single week acting classes which i'm really proud of myself for just like sticking to my word with it i think it's one thing to like think about starting something new and and telling yourself like oh i might get into that and then actually making the scary first step of signing yourself up for god knows what and showing up i have been really enjoying these classes i've been going to it's very like screen focused um acting classes which i've never done before yeah i don't know what i'm trying to say it's okay to try something new but i feel like a lot of the time we don't want to talk about when we're trying something new because if like it doesn't work out it doesn't turn into a job we're all obsessed with like monetizing hobbies nowadays then people are watching you you know what i mean i need to do like a good work block now on some brand development things you guys know i have bloomed with becca but i have like bigger plans for that this year and we're gonna work on that so and then i think it'll be nice to go out to a coffee shop just get out the house because i've just been like at home most of the days this week and i don't think it's very good for me these literally just came in the mail today i caved i have a pair of like birkenstock sandals and i love them i think i wore them to death last summer they're comfy and they are durable and I'm not gonna lie, I think the clogs are like not everyone's taste. I don't care. I think they're so cute and like really nice with a sock. <laughs> a really, really comfortable shoe for summer in this like kind of transitional weather because it is actually getting warmer in London. I've honestly been really struggling to focus this week and just actually get stuff done. I just feel like there's a lot of different projects going on right now and I'm really bad at jumping from one thing to the other so I'm trying to get better at less procrastinating and actually sticking to my to-do list. I'm working behind the scenes today on something really exciting which again I cannot cannot wait to share with you guys because some of you have been here since the beginning like 2020s when I started this channel and this was not like an overnight blow up. I feel like I've been doing YouTube for a while. Things are happening this year and it's yeah because you watch me. This next portion of the video is actually very kindly sponsored by Squarespace. I wanted to bring it up because I'm quite new to Squarespace and I feel like if you're maybe in a similar boat to me or you're just someone who's looking at starting up a website, whether it's for your like personal CV or it's for a little brand, you might be a freelance photographer and you want to make a little website to showcase your portfolio. If you're looking to sell digital product, physical product, whatever it is. I want to let you guys know about Squarespace. Squarespace essentially help you build your own websites. They are the easiest all-in-one platform to build your website. I say that with my hand on my heart. I have experience building websites in the past, back when I worked in marketing, and I was blown away by just how easy Squarespace is to use. When it came down to looking at how to build a website for Bloom with Becca, I was completely overwhelmed. I had heard of Squarespace before, and so I was kind of curious, because I knew they were great at helping you get a website up and running really quickly. What I loved immediately was just all the beautiful templates that they have you can go in and easily customize them i love that they've just done like all the hard work for you so you go in you can pick your fonts they've even got like predetermined color palettes that you can run with they've thought about all the little technical details as well like animations you can really make it your own without any previous web design experience squarespace have you covered from start to finish easily launch your own website and also get discovered fast because it's one thing to like publish it 
it if your SEO and all of that isn't in check. Then that's a whole other technical side that's really difficult to manage. So Squarespace offers so much support with that. So head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Becca Watson to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. But yeah, all those details will be below. I know you guys will love them. And a huge thank you to Squarespace for working with me. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna pop out to work from a coffee shop, maybe get some food because we don't have that much food in the fridge. And then go straight to acting from there. I always feel a little, not nervous. I don't get like necessarily nervous for it, but it is something that like pushes me out my comfort zone. So on the days that I have class, I feel a little apprehensive all day. And also just scared that I haven't learned my lines because like the way this class works is I work with someone else on a scene and I don't want to be that person who doesn't know their lines. Got some work done, learned my lines, and I'm so happy it's so sunny.